so. Whenever we took off, they had to stop the cars. Mothers would collect the car rules without wheels. <laughs> uh, the forecast that night was terrible. The snow, wind and ice all the way to the target. Five group, I later learned, rebelled and wouldn't send their chaps any further than Cologne. But not us. Not us. Well, I even said Bundibar, each language only helps me tell you. I can still see the big map in the briefing room with the coloured lines of tape marking the route to the target. In over the North Sea, around the top of Denmark. Swing south into Germany, bomb then out and home over Holland. It was a cool, clear winter's night. We'd been taken out to our aircraft and we'd done our pre-flight checks. Just waiting for the signal to go. Ready. amount of a wing area needed to lift this big heavy aeroplane up to safer altitudes. Why though did it have a wingspan of just 98 feet? Well this is where it gets really silly. This is a photograph of the standard Swanton Morley J Time hangar here in use by the Royal Air Force, a complete with its doorway of oh, yes, you guessed it, exactly 100 feet. Classic case of don't raise the bridge, lower the river. Expressions that really fit you. And so I've racked my brain hoping to explain all the things that you do to me. Well, a dozen young officers or so like like me, they all stand in the in the big room with the window and the mountains and in he comes. Hitler, I have met him here. When he awards me the um, Ritter Kreuz des Eisen and Kreuzes. What's the English term? A knight's, knight's cross with iron cross. I still have it. It's in a little box over there. Just move that rubbish aside. You can have a look at it. I don't care about it. My mere fist to shame. So kiss me and say you understand. It's a day and night, in all weathers, up to 12 hours at a time, following a grid on a map, up and down, up and down. It could be very, very tedious work. And of course, the ocean is very big. <coughs> and the ocean and a submarine is very small, so you very, very, very seldom saw one. Reading. Part of the security detail. And um, all the foreign dignities were arriving. And, um, the Queen of Tonga, this very enormous woman, turns up and barely fits through the door. She's accompanied by some tiny little sort of civil service chap and a very thin man, and, a, and a, there was a morning suit and so forth. And Prince Philip was heard to exclaim a little loudly, Oh look, she's brought her lunch! 